I just graduated high school. It was one of the most exciting times of my life. I had goals and my future to plan. My best friend and I, we went off to college. It was one of the top party schools at the time, Arizona State University, and that's uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to attend, stayed in the dorms. And with the excitement of starting a new school, finally being out on my own without any parentals around, I quickly found myself getting into heavy drinking and partying. Staying out all night, the next day, skipping classes. If I did go to class, in between classes, I would meet up with friends, hit the flask, whatever it was. My new friends encouraged my party, and that's exactly what we did until I dropped out of my first year. I didn't really think at the time that I was a failure. I was just like, well, you know, college wasn't for me. So I ended up moving back home, and I got a job to pay for my habits. The job that I held, it, it didn't really help my situation, the people, the environment. After work, we would go out and do the same thing, party. Um, it wasn't just the pressure of school or my job, it was my lifestyle that I, that I was living. Uh, when my mom had invited me to the Harvest Crusade, she had mentioned that there would be live bands, extreme sports, and it would be at the Angel Stadium. My first thought was, live bands and at the Angel Stadium, this has got to be good. So I agreed to go with her. When we first arrived, I was amazed. I had never seen the stadium that packed. When I heard that beautiful music playing and just seeing so many people lift their arms in worship, it truly touched me. The moment that Pastor Greg Laurie got up to speak, he had mentioned something that caught my attention. He said, God loves you. No matter what your past may be, no matter how bad a person you think you are or what you've done, he forgives you and he loves you. And when I heard that, I just broke down because I thought, that's me. I'm that someone who's been hurting themselves and how could he love me? So to hear that, it's what I needed. When it came time, Pastor Greg gave an invitation for all those who wanted Christ in their life to walk out onto the angels field. I was at the very top of the bleachers, the nosebleed section with my family. I looked to them to see if they would go, but they weren't. So I said, okay, I'll just wait here. But then I was overcome by this burst of energy. I can't explain it. I tried to fight it, and it seemed that the more I fought it, I was exhausted. So then all of a sudden, over the mic, I heard Pastor Greg say, even if you're at the very top of the bleachers and you feel it's too late, I can't walk down. He said, if we see you walking down, we'll wait for you. At that very moment, I stood up and I walked out onto that field that night with my little cousin. Before Christ, I was always searching for the ultimate high, but after reciting the sinner's prayer, I finally found what I was always looking for, a relationship with God, a spiritual high that I've never come down from.